I mean, what is there outside of exposure that, you know, separates out, uh, you know, yourself from exposing, you know, a correctly uh, focused shot from, you know, the works of uh, Avedon or somebody else? Isolation, illumination, and the mind's eye. Not these two eyes. The Indians and the Greeks were famous for understanding this. It's the metaphysical principle that's uh, trans-empirical that Westerners really don't understand. We think we do. It's like, well, we have to come up with stuff. I mean, you know, why does somebody hire somebody, for example, based upon nothing? It's like, yeah, I see that. No, no, you're looking at that, but you can't see it. What do you mean, I can't see it? That's not a good shot. No, you're looking with your eyeballs, and I'm looking with my eyeballs and my brain. And that is where you're screwing up. Oh, okay, whatever. And then you add the illumination, you add the uh, shallow depth of field, or whatever you want to achieve the compositional perfection that's within your, between your ears, but not seen by your eyes. And uh, that's really something that nobody talks about, and it actually pisses me off. You know, seeing with the mind's eye. You know, ancient Indians were famous for talking about the mind's eye. You know, uh, the mind's eye is the most important eyeball in photography. Not these two eyeballs, but this eyeball right here. Oh my god, that makes such sense. Yeah, you're damn right it does. what it is in the shot. I mean, what is in your mind's eye that you need to understand illumination and isolation? I knew immediately when I was taking a few shots that I needed to traipse all the way around to the other side of the lake because the sun was coming this way with my back to the sun. I'm not going to get that catadioptric beautiful bokeh that I was looking for. So I actually had to shoot incidentally into the sun on the other side of the lake, isolate out the boring birds, the Canadian honkers, which of course are not very interesting subjects to take pictures of because they're dirty, nasty birds, obviously so. Or at least most people think that they are. <laughs>